My name is Dan Armstrong. I'm an Adobe Education Leader at Ridgeview High School in Idaho. And today I'm going to give you a look at Adobe Illustrator 2017. Uh, and as we open it up, you'll see the new splash screen there. And I'm going to start by going in here to create a new document. And you'll see that this box has changed uh, quite a bit from what we're used to. Uh, we now have options to kind of help us get started uh, for mobile, web, or print. Uh, and some film, video, art, and illustration. So I'm going to come over here and choose this simple banner layout. Uh, I downloaded it from Adobe Stock. It is free, uh, just to give you a template here. You can now search Adobe Stock and find some additional templates, uh, but I'm just going to grab this one to get started. So a lot has changed in the way that we deal with text inside of Illustrator. Having used InDesign quite a bit, I feel like I got a lot of those tools uh, put back into Illustrator here. And also a lot of the text tools were updated uh, similar to what we have in Photoshop with some of the search features. So I'm going to go through the text tools with you today. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the other things that have changed right now inside of Preferences. Uh, so if we go to Type, we will see now that we have this option down here to fill new type objects with placeholder text, which is really nice for your mock-up to make it go quickly. Uh, we also have the show pixel grid option now. It will show up once you get in at 600% uh, zoom. And then the user interface was cleaned up and we have some options uh, for colors and those kinds of things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this uh, medium dark, but the interface did get cleaned up, new buttons. Um, and all of that. Uh, so we're going to start with the text. So if I come in here to this company logo and I want to change this, let's say for example I wanted to grab a script font, uh, I can now type in script and it will give me all these options here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the Bickham Script Pro and when I, if I wanted to kind of uh, accent this first letter a little bit, when I select it if it's a font that has an alternate character, uh, I can just come in here to the contextual menu and click on the alternate character, and that'll make it a little bit bigger here. So maybe that's what you want it to look like. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave that alone. Now, down here, I have this placeholder uh, for some text. And if I come to my file menu and I choose place, uh, I've actually got some text that I have dumped in here inside of my Illustrator 2017 folder. Uh, this is just some copy type. This is a Word document that's been formatted uh, and so it gives me some options, table of contents, footnotes, endnotes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep the text formatting and all I've got to do is kind of click on the path that that is in and then now I can just come and uh, I can delete of that part of it okay and so then off I go with my text I could do the same thing um, for example if I grab my text uh, area type tool if I just simply drug out a text box here for the oops and uh, I think we'll get that again and we'll try this one more time so as I drag that out then it fills it with this Lori Ipsum that we didn't use to get, which is, you know, quite nice to get you started and get you going. So I can go in here and pick out a new font, go with a good old source sans. Um, and so what you can see is that this text is behaving very similar uh, to how it will work inside of InDesign and other applications. Now, there's another cool feature I want to bring out at this point. I'm going to go just grab a symbol, uh, and I'm going to go grab one, I guess, a web button. And uh, I just want something that's circular that we can work with. This will work. And we'll drop the symbol on the page. Okay. Now, with this symbol, uh, you know, in InDesign, we have some options here. We could drop this in, do some text wrapping, and all of that kind of thing. So as long as the text is beneath your actual object, uh, inside of your layers. It's based on a stacking order. So if I grab that symbol now and I just go to object and I go to text wrap and say make, then it will wrap that text uh, to this object here. Okay. 
And there are some options for my text wrapping. So if I come up here to object and I go to text wrap and I do text wrap options, then I can change like the offset and I can just click on my little preview here and see what that kind of looks like. It just brings in a little bit tighter um, and we'll say okay. And then that sets me up in a really nice way to kind of get everything organized and maybe I just need to make my text a little longer here so that we don't lose any of it. So then there we go. Okay, so that's some of the features that are going to be new to you in Illustrator 2017. There are a few more but that covers the majority of the really important ones you're going to use on a daily basis. So happy creating and thanks for watching.